Here's a sample problem. I'm going to use these two formulas for a concave mirror. A 3.5 centimeter object is 7 centimeters from a concave mirror with a focal length of 10 centimeter. Find the height of the image, the distance to the image. So the first thing we do is write down what we're given. Uh, the height of the object is 3.5 centimeter. It's 7 centimeters from a concave mirror, so that's distance to the object is 7 centimeters. And the uh, mirror has a focal length of 10 centimeters. I check the units to make sure the units are okay. As long as I have consistent units, everything will work. Centimeters, 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 it's going to work. So what I gotta do is I wanna find the height of the image and the distance to the image. I look at my variables and I've really noticed that this formula is better suited to it because I have three unknowns in here and I know two of them. I know the focal length and the distance to the object. So I'm actually gonna find the distance to the image first because I'm gonna need the distance to the image to use this formula. So I have to find this one first. So let's use our formula. One over F equals one over DI plus one over DO. So one over 10 equals one over the distance to the image plus one over DO, which is seven. Now I'm gonna bring that up to here and I'm gonna rearrange it. What I want is I want this on one side by itself. So the easiest way to do that is subtract one over seven from here and subtract one over seven from here from both sides. So I get one over 10 minus one over seven equals one over di. Now if I could find a simple common denominator, I could do that. You can use your calculator though. So it depends how your teacher wants you to do it. But one divided by 10 minus one divided by seven equals negative 0 0.043. I've rounded a little bit. In order to find di, 1 over di equals that number. So di, I invert both sides. di is going to be 1 over that. 1 over negative 0 0.043 is equal to di. di equals 1 divided by 0 0.043 is going to be 23, and I'm going to round it, 23 centimeters, and it's negative. Okay? So the distance to the image is negative 23 centimeters. What does that mean? When the distance to the image is negative, it means that the image is on the opposite side of the mirror, and it's virtual. So we have a, an image that's virtual, it's on the opposite side of the mirror. Let's calculate now HI. I'm looking for HI, I've got the height of the object, I've got the distance to the image, and the distance of the object, so I'm going to use this part of the equation. HI over HO equals negative DI over DO. HI is what I'm looking for. HO is 3.5. Negative di, well di was negative 23. So I'm going to put a negative 23 here times a negative. It's going to give me positive. 23 divided by do, which was 7. So hi over 3.5 equals 23 divided by 7. 23 divided by 7 equals 3.29 because I'm rounding a little bit, 3.29. HI is going to equal, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3.5. 3.29 times 3.5, it's going to be 11.5 centimeters, and it's positive. From the last part, you remember that the positive for the height of the image indicates upright. So I've got an image that the distance of the image is telling me that it's uh, virtual. The height of the image is telling me it's upright. So my orientation is upright. My size is bigger because the image is 11.5 and the object's 3.5. It's bigger. The location is on the opposite side of the mirror because this was negative. And the type is uh, virtual, which we got from that being negative and this being upright. Both tell us it's virtual.